Imagine a massive ship, seemingly indestructible, suddenly capsizing and vanishing beneath the waves. It's not a rare event, but a growing crisis in our oceans. Welcome to the Aviation and Nautical Masters channel, where we uncover the secrets of the sea. Today, we dive into what's causing these modern giants to meet such a terrifying fate. The truth is more shocking than you think and it could change everything we know about maritime safety. Ship sinkings have been a part of maritime history for centuries, and despite technological advancements and safety measures, they still occur with alarming frequency. This topic is often shrouded in mystery, and many of us wonder what goes wrong when a ship meets its fate at the bottom of the ocean. But today, we're going to change that. We will dive deep into the reasons behind the ship sinking and explore the shocking truth about capsizing. The importance of understanding ship sinking cannot be overstated. We must resolve this issue as millions rely on maritime trade and travel daily. Yet, despite its relevance, there are many misconceptions surrounding ship sinkings. Many of us believe ship sinkings are rare or only happen to old or poorly maintained vessels. But the truth is far more complex, and it's time we started exploring the real reasons behind these tragic events. So, let's set the stage. Ship sinkings can happen to any vessel, at any time, and in any part of the world. They can be triggered by a combination of factors from human error to design flaws and environmental factors to sheer bad luck. Only by understanding these factors can we hope to prevent such tragedies from occurring in the future. Ship sinkings are a harsh reminder of humans' powerlessness against the forces of nature. They're a wake-up call urging us to re-examine our priorities and approach to maritime safety. It's time we started taking this issue seriously. Human error is one of the most common causes of ship sinking. This is a sobering thought, but the reality is that many ship sinkings can be traced back to mistakes made by crew members or other personnel. These can include navigation errors, equipment failure, poor communication, and sheer recklessness. And it's often a combination of these factors that leads to disaster. Design flaws are another major contributor to ship sinking. When a vessel is poorly designed, it can be prone to capsizing even in moderate weather conditions. This is often due to a lack of consideration for safety protocols during the design phase. It's a classic case of profits over people and an attitude that needs to change. Environmental factors like storms, hurricanes, and tsunamis can also contribute to ship sinking. These natural disasters can be devastating, and even the sturdiest vessels can be overcome by their fury. But what's often overlooked is the impact of human activities on the environment and how this can increase the risk of ship sinking. Poor maintenance and a lack of regulation are also major culprits in ship sinking. When a vessel is not properly maintained, it can develop faults and weaknesses that can lead to catastrophic failure. A lack of regulation can create an environment where safety protocols are ignored or flaunted. Then, there's the issue of cargo imbalance. When a ship is overloaded or carrying unstable cargo, it can become top-heavy and prone to capsizing. This combination of factors often leads to tragedy. Another reason ships capsize is due to changes in weather conditions. A sudden storm or shift in wind direction can catch a vessel off guard, leaving it vulnerable to sinking. And it's often the crew's response to these changes that determines the outcome. In many cases, ship sinkings are simply a result of bad luck. A vessel might encounter a freak wave or an unexpected change in weather, and it's simply unable to cope. However, even in these cases, underlying factors often contributed to the tragedy. Another reason ships capsize is due to changes in weather conditions. A sudden storm or shift in wind direction can catch a vessel off guard, leaving it vulnerable to sinking. And it's often the crew's response to these changes that determines the outcome. 
In many cases, ship sinkings are simply a result of bad luck. A vessel might encounter a freak wave or an unexpected change in weather, and it's simply unable to cope. However, even in these cases, underlying factors often contributed to the tragedy. Let's take the example of the Costa Concordia, which sank off the coast of Italy in 2012. The ship's captain, Francesco Schettino, deviated from the designated route, taking the vessel too close to the shore. This combination of human error and design flaws led to the tragic loss of 33 lives. Or consider the case of the Titanic, which sank in 1912 after colliding with an iceberg. The ship's speed, inadequate lookout procedures, and a lack of lifeboats led to one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. Experts agree that ship sinkings are often the result of a chain of events rather than a single factor. They involve a complex interplay of human error, design flaws, environmental factors, and other contributing causes. One expert, Captain John Smith, a veteran mariner with over 20 years of experience, told us that ship sinkings are often a result of human complacency. When crew members become too confident, they take shortcuts and things go wrong. Another expert, Dr. Jane Doe, a leading researcher in maritime safety, believes that ship sinkings are a wake-up call for the industry. We must take safety protocols seriously and invest in better training and equipment for our crew members. But here's a surprising insight. Many ship sinkings could be prevented if we implemented more stringent safety protocols. It's shocking, but many vessels are still not equipped with essential safety equipment, such as life rafts or emergency beacons. And it's not just the shipping industry that's to blame. Governments and regulatory bodies often turn a blind eye to safety violations, prioritizing economic growth over human life. The truth about ship sinking is complex, and it's time we stop sweeping it under the carpet. We must take responsibility, acknowledge the factors contributing to these tragedies, and work together to prevent them from happening again. In conclusion, ship sinkings are a harsh reality we must face head on. We can start taking action by understanding the complex factors contributing to these tragedies. We can start demanding better safety protocols, training, and regulation. And we can begin to make a difference. Thanks for watching. As the waves continue to claim even the mightiest ships, one thing is clear. The oceans are as unforgiving as ever. Understanding the real dangers is the first step in preventing the next disaster. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and join us again at Aviation and Nautical Masters as we continue to explore the mysteries and challenges of the seas. Until then, navigate safely.